Hello, it's Ryan with AVL Looms, and we are going to install a dynamic warp tension system on the V-Series Loom. It's uh, Friday here at AVL Loom, so we're making some cool videos. Um, so let's see if I can just work through this. I'm not, it's going to be an unedited video, so if I run into any challenges, you can see how I work through them. Uh, but it's a pretty, pretty simple install. Um, so here we have the locking brake that comes standard with the Loom. You can see I have a warp on here. We're just gonna do it with the warp on, no big deal. First thing we do is take the uh, old brake cable off. So I can do that by just undo undoing the clip here at the brake, or let's see, I'll just unhook it there. And then I can more easily get this clip off. And then I just unwind this cable off. Now we don't have a brake cable on. So like, this is what the bag of goodies looks like with the dynamic tension system. You have your brake cable um, and some hardware. And then of course you have your tension arm and weight. So I'm gonna take this weight off <clears throat> here just for ease of putting this on. You just have to undo the uh, little uh, knob at the end so it slides off. Set that aside for a moment. First thing we want to do is put on the uh, tension arm. So I'm going to use two half inch wrenches here. Um, you could just use one wrench and an adjustable wrench, but you're going to need to tighten the bolt up with something. Um, so here I have a set of three washers, a nut, and this little cylinder axle thing. Um, so basically I'm going to start by putting on this bolt here with the washer and then another washer on the inside. I'm just gonna slide that through and let it rest there. And I'm gonna keep this other items in my hand, um, kind of in this order, the, the, this one, uh, the washer and then the nut, that's how it's gonna go on. So take your tension arm, metal part that's facing towards the outside of the loom and just, you're gonna have to pull this nut back a little bit to slide the tension arm in there. And then just hold it here with your hand and then put this cylinder piece in and slide it all the way in, and then put on your washer, and then put on your nut. So there we go. I'm gonna kinda let that rest, and then I'm gonna just tighten this up a bit and secure it into place. All right, it's pretty tight, but see it still has free range of motion there. So let's grab our cable here. <clears throat> the same looking cable, loop end and a clip end. So let's just start with uh, putting the uh, loop end down on the hook here. And we're going to come up and over the small pulley on the tension arm and just bring it through and straight over the back of the big um, warp drum on the warp beam. And then just keep. Oh, you know what? I made a mistake here because I attached my uh, these warp threads in my way. This might be a common error that you do. This doesn't attach down here. This actually attaches to your tension arm. There's a piece up here that unscrews that you can loop your um, cable onto. And it's the same as on other uh, production looms. It's how you attach the cable to the tension arm. There we go, that's the right way to do it. And now you come up and over the small pulley and then go down around your brake drum. And then you go through here, around the brake drum again. And you're trying not to overlap the cables. Go around one more time. And then you're gonna attach to your white cord down there at the bottom. So I'm just gonna kind of pull this back here. This is how the tension arm would work. Now we're pretty much set up. All I have to do is put on the weight. So I'm gonna slide this on, put the uh, weight facing out. Words, tighten that up. And slip this. I'm already under tension. This is just 
just for safety, this weight shouldn't move once you have it set with these knobs. There you go. Um, so that's it. If you want to adjust tension, you can move this weight up and down. I like to lift, bring the tension off. You can kind of set the beam, pull the beam back, push it down, and then let this rest here. And that's it. Dynamic warp tension system.